Hello everyone. Welcome to this series of tutorial on SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It allows us to read or modify data through any relational database management system that is DBMS. It can be either Oracle, MySQL or SQL Server, anyone, any database of your choice. In relational databases, the data is stored in a tabular format that is in terms of rows and columns. So if we take an example, we have a table named student which have these five columns that is roll number, name, age, marks and division. These columns we also call it as attributes and it has six records or six rows that represents the actual data that we have in a table. Okay, so using SQL we can actually create this table and insert informations into this table, update the information or retrieve the existing information. For doing so, we need to write some SQL statements and these SQL statements we call as queries. So we write SQL queries to read information, to write information. So when we take off this example, so we usually use two types of SQL commands. Number one, DDL that we call it as data definition language and number two that is DML we call it as a data manipulation language. DDL is used for creating table. So creation of table represents providing the table name and providing the columns that is, tab that is table going to have and the kind of data each column is going to store. So for an example, roll number is going to store a numeric type of data. Name will be storing a string type of data as similar to age, marks and division. So creation of table and specifying what columns it will have, what kind of data each column will store, that we call it as a DDL. So by executing DDL command, we get table, but we don't have any data. So you will have an empty table without any information. In order to insert data, so in order to insert data or retrieve data, we go for second type of SQL statements, that is SQL queries that we call it as DML, that is data manipulation language. It is used to insert the information, update the existing information. So for an example, if I want to make this age 13 to be as 12, then we'll use update information, update queries, or we can even add or delete the existing information. For this series of tutorial, I am going to use Oracle Express Edition along with SQL Server you are of course free to use anything of your choice. So if you want to go over for with Express Edition of Oracle, then go ahead and download it from Google, just search for it and you'll download it from Oracle site. I have already downloaded it. So when I extract this Oracle XE, we get this disk one and SQL developer. Okay. In order to run SQL developer, you will also require Java development kit that is JDK. Okay, so we'll open this and we'll run this setup. I happen to be already installed this. Just one thing to note at the time of installation, it will ask us to provide password for system. Whichever password we provide at the time of installation, just remember that because that we are going to use when we create or create the connection to connect to the database and then we'll start creating tables, updating its information. So instead of going for SQL command line console, we are going to use SQL developer over here. So we'll just open it. Uh, we'll just create the shortcut of it on desktop. Okay. When you open SQL developer for the first time, it will ask you to provide the path where JDK is installed. So make sure that you install JDK before opening this SQL developer. So once you open SQL developer, you will get this sort of screen. 
we'll go into connections and add one connection okay we can provide any connection name of our choice so I'll, let's just say local sys that is for system user username is system password is something that you have provided at the time of installation i have provided it as root so i'll type r double o t save password let every other thing information be as it is so i'll test it yes success we'll save okay so from next tutorial onwards we'll use this connection to actually create table and insert information into it and retrieving it so we'll actually learn how to write sql queries okay till then happy learning